Welcome back to Modern Day Lucy. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a recipe with you guys that I absolutely love. I found it because I was making a meal for a friend who is gluten-free who just had a baby. And I tried it, it was amazing, it tasted great, so I've used it several times for having company and for several women that have had babies, um, I brought it to their family. So I continue to make it even though it's gluten-free and my family isn't gluten-free, but it's still that great of a recipe that it tastes good and I just wanted to share it with you guys. What it is, is orange chicken and um, it's way better than what you'd get at like a Chinese restaurant. It tastes that good, it's very fresh. Um, so like I said, I love using it for people that have had babies, so it's like a hospitality dish or if you're having company over, um, it's something that is great to make. So I'm going to show you guys the ingredients and um, then I'll kind of show you what it looks like as you do the different steps. Okay, so these are all the ingredients. So you'll want some green onions and those are optional, they're just for garnish. This is the chicken. Um, it's all wrapped up because I'm defrosting it right now. That looks funny, but it's basically brown sugar. And then here's an orange. You're going to need one for orange zest as well as I'm going to use it for orange juice. This is some white vinegar. And then you have your gluten-free soy sauce, but you can use regular if you want to make this um, and you're not gluten-free. I'm using vegetable oil today. Normally I like to use olive oil, but I'm out, so I'm just using vegetable oil, but it is gluten-free, so that's okay. And then cornstarch, and then you'll need black pepper and salt. Another ingredient, too, that I did not include is garlic. Um, the recipe that I'm making tonight for our company that's coming over, the uh, my friend is allergic to garlic, so I'm going to leave that out today but normally you would use some minced garlic. Okay, so the hardest part of this recipe is getting the orange zest. As you can see, it likes to stick to my grater, but if you have one of those fancy grate tools, then awesome, that's really gonna help. Um, I forgot to say that there's also um, water in this recipe and um, crushed red pepper, which I don't put the red pepper in because I don't, it doesn't, I think I'm kind of allergic to it or something. I just don't like it. So um, I leave that out. But I just wanted to mention those two things. So this is the sauce mix that I have put together and then we're gonna whisk it up. And so I'm gonna show you that next. Okay, so this is what it all looks like. It doesn't look very appetizing, but I'm just gonna whisk it all together. And it's a little bit hard because it's a cornstarch. We're going to whisk it until it's smooth. Okay. And we're going to set this aside until we are ready to heat it up. Okay, so here is the chicken chopped up with salt and pepper on it, and then it's coated in cornstarch. So now I'm ready to fry it. Okay, so here's the chicken now that it's um, cooked, and then this is the sauce that just thickens, and then you're going to add the chicken back in to the sauce. Sorry for the baby. Okay, now that the sauce is thickened, I'm adding the chicken. This is what's going to look like. And you'll just add it to your rice, and it's delicious. Finished product. So delicious. 